Hey, it's everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls. So last time we took on the Chasm of the Abyss, then I proceeded to die to Menace in four seconds flat because I forgot how to control the goddamn game, and then I backstepped off the side by accident and killed myself trying to trade with Snuggly. I'd say it went very well. Anyway, we are now going to take out this chick. I'll explain more about her in a second. You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? Rhyming. He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? <laughs> no. Yes, of course. I must not be presumptuous. Artorius would not have approved. No, no he wouldn't. You know who else doesn't approve? I don't approve of you being here, so prepare to freaking die. <laughs> you humans, always taking what you please. True that, especially when it's me. Boom, son! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that killed her. Holy shit. That was amazing. So anyway, yoink, that was Karen or Chiron, however the hell you pronounce her name. She is one of the four Knights of Gwyn. We've seen two so far. She was the third one. We're going to see the fourth one in the DLC very soon. There's uh, Dragon Slayer Ornstein, there's Artorius of the Abyss, there's her, and there's Hawkeye Goth. We're going to see Goth very, very soon. And you'll notice she erected a grave for Artorius. Why it's so tiny compared to in the future, I have no idea. But first, we have unfinished oh, business with this you. guy. You have quite some nerve, or are you just thick? <laughs> you see, he's pissed because I fended off his invasion. Did you really slay Knight Artorias? I'd heard the Abyss found him first, but even still, that's absolutely treacherous. Yes, magnificently so. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're gonna make me blush. I'll be seeing you, if you survive your travels. I'm sorry to tell you this, buddy, but you will not be seeing me again, because you're gonna die. You this is all mine, right? Frankly, oh, yes, I do. Very petty of you. Very petty indeed. Oh, God, this guy's a pain in the dick. Yes, gotcha. You win. Please. Oh, please. Have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I have never, not once in my entire life, shown mercy on anyone or anything, and I'm certainly not about to start with you, sir, because frankly, you're a bit of a dick. Anyway, Chester is dead, which means we can't use him as a merchant, but we don't care about that. We have his badass gear, and that's what matters. But for now, we're going to roll in our underpants, quite literally. So we're about to take on Calamine. However, you cannot fight him initially. He will just kill you. He doesn't... Basically, he flies around. You have to get him on the ground, so that rhymes. So you have to figure out how to do that. I know how to do that. So basically we have to go there, get attacked by him, then go back, talk to an NPC. That NPC is going to help us, then we can fight him for real. So I'm trying to be as vague as I possibly can here to avoid spoilers. But yes, essentially he has to attack us, otherwise we can't actually fight him properly. And god damn I hate these dogs. They're so damned irritating. Stop jumping around. Anyway, I'm going to equip the uh, wolf ring, Artorius' ring, just for a bit more poise. Because I do not trust that I will not get stun locked by these dogs otherwise. And that would really... Really suck. Oh yeah, I meant to mention the reason we killed her, Karen, Chiron, whatever her damn name is, without giving her the soul, is if you give her the soul, you obviously lose that, and she gives you her weapons, which as you saw, when we killed her, we got them anyway, plus her armor, plus we kept the soul, so it's just a win-win-win situation, you know, the only reason to not kill her, really, is if you're like role-playing as a good character or something, which is something I never do, because... I always think it's much more entertaining to play the bad guy in games, and it's something just not that many people do. I like playing the bad guy, goddammit. It's, it's way more fun that way. Okay, so this is where we are going to get ambushed by Calamite. I kind of want to change my ring. I really wish we could have quick roll here. God damn it! Why do I not have a, uh, a ring of sacrifice? Shit. Okay, so I was going to suicide him, but I guess that's off the table. And there he is, being a complete flying dick like he always is. Well, since we don't have a ring of sacrifice, I guess we're going to have to bone out of here and hopefully do that before he kills us. This is really going to suck. I've never actually done this before. I always just use a ring. Ah, I knew you were there, you crystal lizard bastard. Yes, this is the quick way down. Can't use the ladder, but uh, it's way more fun to do this. But of course, you're going to lose HP. Not that much, though, in the grand scheme of things. It's like one Estus Flask. Who really cares? Okay, so I think he's going to come from over in that direction, and I don't know if he actually has to breathe fire, or if we can just, you know, bone out as soon as we see him, or if he has to kill us. I have no idea how this actually works. Like I say, I always just suicide. Hopefully, that's enough, because he didn't actually breathe fire, so I'm kind of worried that I did that too early. I guess we shall see. So anyway, we are now going to use the crest key that we got earlier. You may remember I mentioned that that was incredibly important. 
This is why. Otherwise, you cannot go and talk to this NPC, then he cannot help you with Calamites, and boom, you cannot actually fight Calamites. So you need that key. You need it, okay? Then again, someone's probably gonna post in the comments now and be like, well, actually, if you do three rolls and then hop on one leg around in a circle and then you jump over this wall, you can actually technically land on the back of Calamite and then one-shot him. It, it kind of would surprise me. That's the cool thing about Dark Souls, though, is you just never know. There's all kinds of bullshit like that going on. Now, does this key have an interesting description? No. No, it does not. Well, screw you then, key. Get out of here. What's up, buddy? Mm. A visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. If by freed you mean oh, murdered horribly, then yes! Was, thanks to thee, he left this world with honor intact. And here I am, retired and blind. A little help to thee, I'm afraid. I'm not sure being beaten by a man in speedos that's half your size is dying with honor intact, but hey, I'll take your word for it. Give me those carvings. Okay, do we have anything else? Eh, not particular. I guess we'll buy some bones because we're kind of low on those. Give me 13 because it's unlucky. Okay. Shall never be forgotten. We knights fought valiantly. But for every one of them, we lost three score of our own. Exhilaration. Pride. Hatred. Rage. The dragons teased out our dearest emotions. Thou will understand one day. At that twilight, old thoughts return. In great waves of nostalgia. Oh, I've experienced the rage, buddy, trust yeah. me. There's very little to be said. Who good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Farewell, you. Lead thy life as thou seest fit. Well, shit, he didn't mention Calamite, so did I mess it up? Tomorrow, oh, there we go. Black dragon passing the duress? Yeah, he's a giant flying dick. Yes, I thought as much. He's called Calamite. Ferocious dragon indeed. Even mighty Anna Londa dared not provoke his ire. I see little good coming from this. But my intent is to persevere to the bitter end. Well, if I didn't kill him, I think people would be quite disappointed. <laughs> good, good. What is bravery without a dash of recklessness? I've taken a liking to thee, and I owe thee much for thy service to Artorius. Now, watch and see how goth. Dragon. And then we get a badass FMV. And there's me with my stylish hat going through my shield. That's right, they don't call Hawkeye Guff for nothing. <laughs> yes. A true shot was never loosed. Alright, buddy, nobody likes a big head. We'll be grounded for a good spell. The rest is in thine hands. I await good tidings. Ah. Dragon slaying. Knighthood's highest calling. Okay, so that bass is gonna be down, we can now go and kill him. So anyway, you may have noticed in the middle of that conversation he mentioned that even mighty Anolondo dare not provoke its ire, because you may remember when we were back in Anolondo, there was all kinds of dragon heads on the walls and there's Dragon Slayer Ornstein. So yeah, Anolondo is kind of the city that kills dragons, at least that's the way I think of it. There's a lot of knights that hunt dragons that live there or, you know, used to. Anyhow, I'm gonna cut out the trip and I'll see you when we get back to Calamites. 
Okay, we have Zerad. Now, the boss fight will not start until we get to the very bottom here. Prepare yourself for epic failure. I really, really suck at this boss. I don't know why it probably gives me more trouble than any other boss in the game, and that's really not an exaggeration. Ornstein of Small, Four Kings, easy compared to this guy for me. I really have no goddamn idea why this dude kicks my ass. Oh, God! Just go, oh, come on! Shit. Okay, so what happened there, I used the uh, Pashua spell, and you notice it didn't do very much damage whatsoever. That's because until the spell actually launches, it's not really uh, an actual projectile that's going to do any damage, and they just smashed him in his head, so... Because he rammed into me when they were still above me and they hadn't launched yet, it just destroyed them. So that sucks! That was like one of our most powerful spells, if not our most powerful spell. Well, <laughs> shit. He is half dead already though, oh god, da, 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 da. In fact, more than that, so... We're not doing too terribly here, but still. That would have been really nice. God damn it, you're a dick. Okay, so his head attacks. He usually starts from his left. Oh, God. He usually starts from his left going towards your left, but sometimes he will start from his right, so you just kind of have to see it coming and avoid it. When he brings fire like that in a cone, he'll always start from his left, so again, you want to run to your left. See, that one he did from his right. Most of the time, though, his attacks... Oh, shit, I rolled right under his legs. Damn it. Anyway, most of the time, his attacks, they begin from his left, but not all the time. Okay, round two, bring it on, you big bastard. Okay, I am gonna run for my souls, even though it's not that many. I just principally don't like losing them, because it feels like failure to me. If you die normally, but as long as you get your souls back, it doesn't feel that bad. I think the only time so far that we've actually lost them was on the Bed of Chaos. Because the Bed of Chaos is a complete and utter bullshit boss fight, and I can't stand it. I hate it so much, oh shit! Okay, so that's a telekinetic grab that he does on you. He'll pull you towards him, and you just take a bunch of damage. It's not actually that much damage, so... Yeah, no shit! Roll backwards, kill, kill, kill. Okay, we're fine. It's definitely not his most powerful attack, and as long as you're not directly in front of him, you should be okay. Just don't do what I did last time and roll under his legs when he's stepping, because that's the last place you want to go. Oh shit! Go backwards. Okay, so that's another attack he has. He'll charge towards you, and if he misses you, or even if he hits you, he'll spin around a circle and do the fire again. It begins from his left, so you always want to go towards your left. See? Just like that attack there. Always go to the left. Sometimes, like I say, he's... Oh, shit! That's not good. That's not good. Oh, no, no, no. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Damn it! You son of a bitch. Round three. Fight! Now, I'm trying to remember what I was saying last time. I... I think what I was going to say was always head towards your left. Sometimes his attacks are going to come from that direction, but it's so rare compared to the other side that most of the time you're going to be okay, but again, you're just going to have to learn his moves. Kelly is one of those bosses that's more about patience than anything. You just have to wait for openings. As long as you're taking goddamn time, it's really not that bad. Oh shit, I'm going to take damage. Okay, we're fine. That's not one of those moves that's going to one-shot you. Even if you are a soul level one, you should be okay to survive that. Joe oh, Jesus! Just about, but uh, yes. Either way, he's a dangerous son of a bitch. Oh, shit, he's doing that one. Okay, that was close. Anyway, that's one of those attacks that kills me more often than not. Because he has another attack that looks... Oh, shit, stop it. That's a very bad Kelowitz. Okay. It's one of those attacks that looks very similar to another attack he does where he just brews fire in a straight line. That one, you just roll to the side, you're going to be fine. But if you miss... You know, if, if you confuse them, you'll end up rolling to the side a little tiny bit. He does the one where he sprays fire in front of him, and then you just die to it. It's one of those things, man, you just have to learn the telegraphs, and I'm still not that great at it, frankly, which is why I suck at this boss fight. But again, take your time, and for the most part, you are going to be okay here. You can tank up and use a shield in your good fire defense armor. I did do that once, but I found it, oh shit, but I found it much tougher than just rolling away. Again, it really depends on your playstyle, but I much prefer just being very quick, seeing so get out of the way of the goddamn fire. His head attacks, and you know, the charge and everything, nowhere near as bad, in my opinion. Oh shit, it's gonna hit me! Da, 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 da. Okay! That was very, very close! Okay, he's almost shit! Stop it! That's a. Stop it! Okay, he's almost two thirds dead. Now, I switched all against Catalyst, I forgot to mention this, because we need more spells, goddammit, I keep missing him, and then we run out of spells and I have to kill him with a sword, and the sword, oh shit! That's no good. Okay, we're gonna be fine. The sword, it's not that bad, but it's nowhere near. Oh shit, he's on a telekinesis, you son of a bitch! Now, this shouldn't kill me. Maybe. It does a lot more damage at the end, see? Not even half my HP, and my HP bar is not big by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, dudes, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, crap, that was close. That's what I'm talking about where he just left the fire straight in a row. I always confuse that with the one where he just sprays it around, and that's why I die. Okay, so this is the way you cut off Calumet's tail. I'm not going to do it now, but uh, that attack where he does where he flies at you, run around behind him as soon as he lands, and he will slam his tail down on the ground. Then you get an opening to actually attack the tail. That's the way to cut the thing off. Trust me on that. 
just have patience, you are going to need a lot of it. I think you need to do like, uh, is it like 2,000 damage or something like that to the tower? It's a hell of a lot, so yeah. It takes a while to cut that damn thing off, but that's the way you do it. Again, I did that in my soul level 1 run. I'm not going to do it now, because it'll just cost me another 20 deaths to this guy, and I don't want that to happen. I'd rather kill the guy much quicker than that. Boom! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, this is not good! We are trapped against the wall with Calamity right in our face. Calamity, get away from me. I need to heal the hell up. Okay, da -da 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 -da. Okay, chuck, 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 and roll. Okay, perfect. See, walk around behind him. Da -da 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 doesn't get the opportunity all the time, but most of the time you can walk around behind him after he flies, or slam the tail down again, just cut the thing off then. Stop it! Okay, almost got him, and boom! Shit, he's not dead. I thought I was gonna kill him. Well, crap. Okay, go for the kill. Boom! Gotcha! Holy shit! What was that third attempt? Suck on that! <laughs> I can't believe I died more to menace. God, I suck. Well, thank God for that. I know I died to that guy like 20 plus times. I think it was like 24 or something on my soul level 1 character. That guy's the stuff of nightmares for me. I'm so glad I only died twice. Holy shit, that is the power of being a sorcerer right there. Anyway, so for killing him we get the Calamity Ring. Which, frankly, all it does is double the damage that you take. Yes, I'm not kidding, it does nothing else. Nothing. It's literally just for people that want to take a hardcore challenge and wear the ring or something and then go fight Manus, you know whatever the hell you want to do. It is literally just a ring for doing challenges. And this is your clue to use Hawkeye. If only Hawkeye Goff were here. That's a developer message. I don't really like the fact that they've left a bunch of developer messages around in the DLC, like the one by the wall that tells you to use lights. It's just telling you how to do the goddamn puzzles and shit, man. It ruins the game for me, personally. I mean, you know, I figured this stuff out on my own. I never read the messages. Like I say, I never read them the first time around, but uh, yes, I really hope they don't do that stuff in Dark Souls 2. Don't get me wrong, explain you how to control the game and parrying and blocking and stamina and all the kinds of crap like that, but uh, just please, for the love of God, don't tell people how to actually beat it. It just defeats the purpose for me. Anyway, so we get a Titan Slam over there. Like I say, there's only three of those in the game unless you go farm the Dark Race and those guys and the bleed dicks. Anyhow, we are going to go back to Goff and we are going to kill him because frankly, we are going to get some good shit for doing so, even though I like the guy. Okay, we are back. And yes, this is what happens when you have the Calamity Ring on, you get this weird looking Eye of Sauron above your head. It's kind of freaking amazing, but again, we're going to take double damage. Thou hast defeated Calamit, wondrously played. Lord Gwyn's blessing upon me. That beast will never take to the skies again. Frankly, he ain't going to be doing much of anything again. He's dead. Oh, well, proud human. May every honor be bestowed upon thee. That's nice, little buddy, but I need you to give me your bow so I can then that kill you. Comes to Gen, legend of humans. It is always an honor to speak with thee. I know. Ah, this great bow, I shan't need it, but no dragons to hunt. I know not if a human could even operate it. But here, I need outweighs mine. So there we are, we get his bloody big great bow, and yes, as you might imagine, it is humongous, it's nowhere near as big as when he has it, and for some reason it's still sitting behind him, but whatever, I think you need like 30 dexterity and 50 strength of world, it's something like that, I don't really know, anyway, prepare to die, I, I, I say prepare to die, thank you. So this is true human nature. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't mean to fall down here, damn it. Okay, so apparently he is blind. I'll explain more about that in a second. So I'm wearing this ring, which makes it so that we don't make any noise. Apparently, he now cannot find where we are. That actually seems to be the case. That's amazing. Okay, die. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, he freaking frog splashed the shit out of me. Okay, I'm taking this ring off. That was ridiculous. Okay, we're back, and this time, it's personal. Prepare to die, you son of a bitch. Okay, I'm guessing he can now hear me. Yes, yes he can. Don't you dare frog splash me again. No, 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 he's doing something. Okay, that was scary. I know this guy, oh, Jesus. I was gonna say, I know this guy hits like a truck even without the ring on, so it's entirely possible that move might have one-shot me anyway, but uh, the ring certainly didn't help the situation. <laughs> Holy shit, leave me alone. I just want to kill you. Jesus. 
He's going ape shit on me. Okay, we can kill him. We can kill him. Just keep your goddamn distance, even though there's not really much room up here. One more of these might do it. Take your time and... Boom, son. He's not dead. Well, shit. And... Gotcha. <laughs> oh, holy crap. That was awesome. Okay, so we get his armor. That's why we killed him. I know it's a bit of a dick move, but again, who gives a shit? I want the armor, goddammit. Now, what's really interesting about this is if you examine the helmets, wherever the hell the helmet is, that's the wrong button, brain. Holy shit. What the hell is the helmet? Hello? I am carrying way too much crap. There we go. It says, Helm of Hawkeye Guff, one of Gwyn's four knights, received as a decoration of knightly honor. A helm crafted especially for the honorable Hawkeye Guff, only their eye holes were packed with tree resin by those who dismiss Guff as a brutish giant. So what that is basically telling you is, possibly he wasn't blind, maybe he just never took his helmet off and that's why he couldn't see out the eye holes because they were packed with tree resin. That's not confirmed, but you know, it seems kind of likely. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. Next time, I'll either take on Nito or the Four Kings. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Dark Souls.